Hello, Jamie Novak here, your Bite Size Living Specialist, and thank you for joining me for number three of an eight-part series, really uncovering a reason behind the clutter. Why do we hold on to all the stuff? And this eight-part series really comes out of the questions that you've sent me, and thank you so much for all of those. And as we look today, we want to see what's underneath the pile. And it could just be a pile of papers, or it could be a the laundry basket of things that got piled up together when company popped by the front door. So we're talking about any piles and what can happen now is you think, okay, well, I would go through the pile, but you really get this fear, this sense of what's in there. What am I going to find that I've either disappointed myself or disappointed someone else? What tends to happen is when we have these piles, there's a fear of what's inside, most particularly a fear of disappointment. And what I mean by that is if you think of a pile of papers that you know you need to go through, and so you finally work up the nerve and go, okay, I'm going in. You set your timer for 18 minutes, you pick up the first paper, and you start to really look and sort and purge and see what's in there. And then you come across a thank you card that you meant to send. And you realize that that thank you is a few weeks, or a few months, or in some cases, a few years overdue. And so now you've disappointed the person because maybe they went out of the way to help you and you feel like you never really thanked them appropriately. And now you start going through this spiral of, well, you know, what's the etiquette? How long do I send these? You know, should I send it now? And let me just say, absolutely. I mean, who wouldn't love to be thanked out of the blue for something that they did? You could either reference that act specifically or if you really feel like too much time has passed, you can just thank them for being there, for being a friend, for their you know, support, their mentorship, whatever it is. So absolutely, because wouldn't you just love to get some sort of a, a thank you out of the blue? I mean, honestly, so send it right along. But really when we look at these piles and why they're occurring, a lot of times there's a fear there, a fear of what's gonna be found inside. And it could be rebate checks that were never cashed, and so now you've sort of disappointed yourself monetarily because they expired and a lot of times they're not able to be reissued so you lost you know twenty five or fifty dollars or something on a rebate you might find parties that you didn't attend um, events that you wanted to go to that you didn't make it to let's just decide right now that as you go through the piles you're gonna find that stuff so you sort of go into it expecting to find those things so it's really not going to be any surprise when they creep up and the great news is, now that you've been expecting it, you'll almost be disappointed if you don't find those things. It would be a good thing, but you're sort of looking to see, okay, what's here, and now we don't want to go back there. So no more making piles. Let's start today with a new system so that the piles don't happen, so that you're not going to find these things that you'll be disappointed over. Most importantly, the things that are a priority to you, the classes you want to take, the events you want to go to, get them on your calendar and go. Don't clip them out, print the brochures, hold on to the flyers, and then find them in a pile where you've missed them. You'll only be disappointed. So it's really about creating those memories and not more piles. Well, this has been Jamie Novak, your Bite Size Living Specialist. I hope you'll join me for the rest of the series as we explore the fear beneath the clutter. Wishing you a clutter-free day.